Okay, now we're on the Wii version, and as usual, we'll kind of just kind of just speed through these dialogue boxes because not much to really add anymore. Boathouse. So now the moon tablet. Nice. Okay. I'm assuming none of the doors are going to be available. Because this, this I believe is the last guy gate. I, I'm pretty sure the, uh, I'm pretty sure that Eggman Land doesn't have a guy gate like this. I could be wrong. I mean. I think this will be a good way to check, actually. Let's just go for her. Yeah, that that'd be a, a, a that'd be a portal missing her. So no. Okay. So yeah, let's go to the night stages, sh uh, shall we? And these are uh, these will go on for a, uh, quite some time. Not like a super long time, but probably like outside of Eggman Land, these are probably the longest night stages, from what I recall. So, I, I could be wrong, but that, that's, what, that's what I remember. Um, so, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, just... Gotta get adjusted to this, this version. Yeah, the uh, thing with doing both versions is that you, you kind of have to adjust back and forth between two completely d different kinds of games. Okay. Game's kind of loud. The Wii, why is, the Wii version is like so much louder for some reason. Uh, I have no idea why. So I'm gonna have to change that. Hopefully, hopefully it sounds okay in editing. But I'll, I'll find out later. God. Yeah, there's so many things that you notice while playing these, like these versions back to back. Like the fact that I mean, one thing I noticed is that the long jump in this version goes way further. Is in the HD version, it's more controlled, but it also doesn't really go that far at all. Um, so that's interesting. Like, it's actually a long jump here, but at the cost of control. So, that's a thing. I do like how... What is it? I do like how the, um, I, what is it, the co combo cancelling with a uh, shield is a thing in both versions. That's pretty cool, I like that. Yeah, the, I, the, okay, there will be a time where we, we will, we will be able to listen to the music for, no. Actually, no, what am I doing? I, I, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I kind of sucked though. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have died like that. Oh well. Yeah, some nice platforming here. Going around the, the bridges and the buildings and whatnot. Yeah, I just love how peaceful this is. Oh god. Okay, but this is... 
Oh god. Yeah, not... Not the best design there, like... You can't really move around while you're hanging onto the flying guys. So as you're getting shot at, uh... You kind of just bowed and have to take the hits. Um... So that... Yeah, that's, that's kind of crap. Like, there should... There should have been a way to... Avoid them somehow, if you're like... Swinging, swinging around like that. Because otherwise you're kind of just boned. Which is not particularly great design. I gotta be honest. So I gotta remember I can do this as well. Nope. Cool. I don't think these bombs are in the Wii, hey, Wii version. I don't think these bombs are in the HD version at all, so that's kind of interesting. Okay. Oh, no, no, I need the boxes. Okay, so I throw this down here. Hopefully that didn't land in the pit. I'm gonna throw that too. Cool. So I think I want this here first, and then this box, th this plat, uh, what's it? This switch will activate, will make this platform rise, and then we can. Well, that goes high. There we go. Yeah, th remember this is still also the Wii version, so. Long, nice digits by this game standards are still pretty tame. Because there, there are, like, a bunch of these in a row, so... It can't be too crazy. Uh, I'm, I might actually be wrong about these being the longest. Outside of Eggman Land, because I, I recall... I was about to say Ice Cap. I recall... Um, what do what we call it? Holoska being longer? I, I, I could be wrong. To be honest, yeah, to be to be honest, they are all pretty similar in length. So, get some items, get asked if we want to play again or like continue playing, and uh, yeah, this next this next level is pretty slow with a lot of platforming on rafts around going around whirlpools and whatnot. Um, there's not really much to talk about. It's bit, pretty basic platforming, all, all things considered. So. Right, like, for this moment in time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the game, like, I I'm gonna just stay quiet for a little while while I do th this, this section, and let the music speak for itself, because it is, again, it's one of my favourites, so enjoy, listen, enjoy listening to it.
I I love this thing. It's just it's a nice simplistic uh, piece piece of music, and it's very fitting for this uh, for this area. Like it is funny. Like Shamar went all bombastic with its jazzy uh, jazzy piece of music, and then this is a lot more subdued, taking taking the environment. Like take it easy. It's nice, soothing, like relaxing piece, and uh, yeah, both both of these tracks are definitely up there as some of my favorites in the game for different reasons. Like this is, I just love the atmosphere and like just the general feeling of it, and it just fits so well with the with the level. And then the Shamar, which. It's just so catchy and memorable that that's also just a great track in and of itself. So I think I need to like go on to like the other side here because I want to get that item. I just need to... Oh god, this is not a good... This is not <laughs> the greatest angle. Oh, okay. Yeah, this isn't isn't the greatest stage because yeah you're kind of just doing slow stuff with the raft. It will get better in Act Three and Four, but Act Two is a pretty pretty mad. <laughs> it's not much to go, not much to say about this, except that I die. Cool. Very nice. I should still have the item though, so I'm not gonna bother getting it again because it's a waste of time. But we still we should still have it. Just waiting, and there we go. Oh, careful, careful. <gasps> Okay. So now we're near the end, believe it or not. Like, most of the stage is that. But there is a cool secret here. You can break the... Break through these boulders here. And then we get... Secret ambush. So that's cool. <laughs> so that's just... Oh, come on, just die. Okay. Ah, oh, I hate it. It's like wa having to waggle the, like wiggle the controller around to uh, stop getting dizzy. It's kind of annoying. But that's that done. So now we can go back. And I believe if we just stay back here. Yeah, there's more enemies here. And then there's also an item. Or just that. Okay. Just Gaia points, I guess. That's fine. No, I wanted to just throw it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it it's especially apparent when you go when you play the HD version and you go back to this, it's way more apparent how much how much more lacking this combat is by comparison. Like I know, I think Dimps mainly worked on this one, and then the HD version is obviously Sonic Team. And well, I I think I don't know I think Sonic Team. Did help a lot with this version too, but it was mainly dims. I think I have no idea. <laughs> to be honest, like I that's I've been confused about that for pretty much my whole life. Like, who? What is? What was the the uh, development cycle for this version? Like, I I don't know. <laughs> Either way, though, that's the end of Act Two. Oh my God! Okay, we barely got that. <laughs>
Good lord all my... Okay, act free time. I love the, just the torches, the lighting, all this good stuff. Okay, invisible walls for the win, yo. Yeah, I... I gotta say, like, again, I... The, uh, the Wii version is... I'd still say it's the infer inferior version overall, but it's definitely no slouch. They, a lot, of, a lot of the level design here is actually pretty solid. Like minus, the, like obviously it's not always great. Like Act Two was pretty, pretty bad. Um, so that, like I, I, I wouldn't say that's really great level design. But yeah, a lot of the, a, a good chunk of the night stages are pretty solid on the way. Uh, they aren't like, they aren't gonna blow your minds or anything like that. But um, for what they are, they're pretty dang solid. Like, if you, like, it, obviously, again, like, the combat is a lot more limiting, so, like, that's not the best, but if we're just talking about level design, the platforming and whatnot, it's pretty solid overall. Like, again, that there's all the secrets you can find, like, we, I just went uh, around this tree and I found an item there. There's platforming up this, up the tree, and then you, and you go around it, and platforming platforming around and eh, it's pretty good stuff like I don't need super complex platform like super complex level design all the time or anything like that um, like this gets the job done pretty well in my opinion I'm uh, this has me satisfied. Right, get you over here. Okay. Then go down here. And I also just feel like there's just a decent flow with the platforming as well. Like you swing from one pole to another at, in rapid succession and whatnot. Uh, there's good pacing to the obstacles. And it's just, in my opinion anyway, I, anyway, I, I know this is not, uh, I know pe most people don't particularly love the Werehog, but for me, I do really enjoy these stages for what they are. They, they aren't necessarily my favorite, but I, they get the job done pretty well, I think. And like, look at that background as well with the waterfalls. Kind of makes me think of Magna Forest from Xenoblade Chronicles a little bit. Yeah, one thing I w I've been wanting to m mention for a while but just kind of keep neglecting to do so like i mainly want just wanted to give it some time before we play most of the game before i talk about this but the one thing i just really love about this game is just how many different cultures there are for all the different co continents and how you, you can just feel like just go just by going through the different continents in these in these versions and just seeing the different kind of like lifestyles people have and like the different food and the different environments and the different type of music used it i just love how well it's like it's portrayed in this game and just it just goes to show how different oh, okay cool <laughs> it just goes to show how different cultures in real life can be like that guy just decided to Join me down the pit, I guess. 
like you have Chunan, um, you have Holoska, like obviously, ba obviously Chunan's based on China, and then there's, uh, there's Apatos, I think based on the, on Mykonos. There's Spagonia, which I believe is just based on, like, uh, just various parts of Europe, because you have Big Ben, but it's also based on, like, parts of Italy as well, um, and all this other stuff. It's, it's a bunch of stuff put together. I don't, I don't know the full extent of what's, like, featured in the game, and the real-life equivalents, but, yeah, I do really like how, how well they, how well they've, they've managed to just blend in so many different type of styles, like, SA1, SA1 had a bunch of different musical, musical styles depending on the stages and whatnot, um, but this game has different style, has di basically that again, but with the different, like, parts of the world, and it, I just love, I just love how well it's been done, like, they managed to just make it work so well, and feel like each part of the continent, each part of the continent, each part of the world you visit, has a distinct feeling that just feels very authentic to what it's trying to base itself off of. And again, considering, especially mainly in the HD version, with how like beautiful the game is, it just goes to show how gorgeous the planet we live in in general is. Like, there's so many sights to see, um, so many different kind of environments that you can find and different, again, different cultures, different ways people live. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even going to question that. <laughs> and again, I feel like they nailed it, nailed it on the head in this game. I feel like I'm doing a really bad job explaining this, but it, yeah, I, I just, I just love it. Like, that's another reason why this is one of my favorite, favorite games overall, like, I mean the HD version. I don't know where I'd rank the, this version specifically among favorites, but I still like it a fair bit. But, um... Okay, let's not die here. But yeah. Very good stuff. And I also like how they managed to make it still feel like these areas belong in the Sonic universe as well, even though these are like heavily based on real world real world world locations and whatnot. They still managed to make it work in the context of the, of the Sonic uh, world, which I think is pretty commendable. I will say this though, uh, I, I have seen people complain about how Sonic shouldn't be in a setting like this. At the same time, though, they've they've uh, never been like okay, go the other way. Actually, no, no, no. I, I want to see what's over this side. Oh God, you gonna make that jump really tight, don't you? But yeah, the like other games are no stranger to making like, areas from, like, based on real wo world locations. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, the both adventure games, I'm pretty sure, had heavy inspiration from real world locations. Like, SA2, obviously, Central City is based on, like, San Francisco and all that. Like, they, you have, like, the Golden Gate Bridge for Radical, Radical Highway, you have the roads from City Escape and all that stuff. So th th this, and again, what is it, 06 Soliana is based on uh, the, like, like, Venus or whatever, I think? Could be wrong about that, but it's something like that. So, the, yeah, this series is no stranger to, to uh, real world equivalents. So I, I kind of feel like that, like, arguing that 
it doesn't fit is kind of silly when we have that stuff like that and people don't tend to complain about it there. So uh, that's a bit weird. But hey, it is what it is. I might have more to say about that later if I can think, if I, like, think back. But like maybe I'll rewatch this footage and then think, oh yeah, I, I wanted to mention this about it as well, but... Needless to say, I do love, really love the setting of this game and it's one of my favourite parts of it. And it makes it, it makes it stand out, like... There's no other game in the series that's like this huge globe-trotting adventure, um, and uh, yeah, it generally it genuinely feels like a world adventure because you, again you're going around the whole world, you're seeing all these different uh, cultures and all these different places and whatnot, and it feels genuine like. This feels like what a well besides all the <laughs> all the enemies and what you call it all, all the crazy Sonic stuff uh, like this feels like you're actually going on an adventure on planet planet Earth because again even like in real life you have so many different countries so many different continents so many different cultures languages. Uh, types of food, all, all, the, all this other stuff that just makes seeing part, different parts of the world really fascinating and there's always going to be something new to learn pretty much no matter what. Like, you're not going to be able to know, like learn everything there is to know about this planet in your lifetime. There's, ju there's just no way. And yeah, again, the fact that they managed to like show that so well in Unleashed is something something to appreciate I, be, I I I'd say especially since they again there's different types of music for each area and they feel like like they feel so well suited for the the areas that they're in like you go to Chunan and the music there just sounds like it would be from China, like, it just fits so well, and at the same time, feeling like it fits into, in, with the Sonic world, and, like, I, I don't know, I, I know I'm kind of repeating myself here, but, I, I, god damn it, dude, <laughs> I know I'm repeating myself here, but, again, it's just really well done, and, the fact that it's managed, like, they managed it to this, like, level, is, Oh, I, I just love it, dude. <laughs> There's a reason why this is my favorite Sonic game, okay? <laughs> I have my reasons for liking this game so much. I'll just say that. I'll just I'll just leave it there. That's uh that's pretty much my uh my opinion on on that whole thing. Cuz I don't really see I know one really talk about that. And I thought I I thought I touched on it when we've seen most of the game, because at this point, like, if I talked about this at, like, Missouri, it wouldn't wouldn't really make as much sense, because we just started the game and, you know, we haven't seen enough, enough areas yet. But now that we've seen most of them, I feel like it's, like, about time I talked about that. Because it's, it's been something I've been holding in for a long time here. But, yeah. I hope I got my, I hope I got my message across at least. Yeah, I guess, we, I think with that we should be able to fight the Shamar boss, right? Cause, cause yeah, in, in this version we literally just have Adabat Day. In terms of like main stages left. <laughs> 